Well, hello everybody and welcome back to another Minecraft video. This is Mythical Sausage. How is everybody doing? Oh man, I'm doing great. Hopefully you guys are doing amazing because today we're going to be starting a brand new mini series here on the channel and this is all going to be dedicated to making block for block tutorials on villager profession houses. So you see all the profession blocks behind me? We're going to be making a specific build that's connected to each and every single one of those. Now let me know which one you want to see next. Today we're going to be doing the farming villager the composter block we're gonna go ahead and feature that and we're gonna make a really cool little farmhouse for that villager now this is totally inspired by my village upgrade that i made recently that i actually added a village profession for each and every single one of these guys so today we're gonna be starting this up now this is gonna be specific to the plains biome but let me know what other biomes you guys want to see after we're done with all of these awesome uh professions you see right behind me so right now let's go check out the block palette we're going to be using for these specific builds all right, and here it is. This is the block palette. So this is going to be very basic. So we're going to go with very starter worthy materials. And this is all going to be in a plains like biome. So we're going to be using some cobble, some stone, some spruce and some oak. And that's it. All right, let's get this farmer's house started. So we're going to go ahead and start right here on this corner. And I'm thinking about having a little living area in the front, a little side for storage. And I'm going to have a little bit of a connecting uh, farmland to it as well. So let's start it up right here with our first block. We're going to go up with oak logs and let's take this up by six. So this is a one, two, three, four, five and six. I'm going to give it a space of one, two, three. We're going to go up by six here. I'm going to give it a space of three going this way up by six. And then a space of three this way up by six, just like that. Then we're going to have a little connecting storage area here. I'm just going to go down by one, two. And on the third one, we're going to go up by one, two, three, and four and five right there. Then we're going to turn this corner one, two, three, and go up as well here by five. So something like that. Then I'm going to give it a little, a little porch here. We're going to go out one, two, and three on the third one. We're going to go up one and two. Here, we're going to give it a space of three up by one and two. So it should look like this for now. Now, let's grab a mix of cobble and stone brick. And we're going to give a little bit of a, of a bottom border here. We're going to texture it a little bit as we go along. It's going to pretty much just wrap around this direction all the way around until we cover up the main house structure right there. Then I'm going to give it a little bit of a step up. So we're going up right here with a step going right here. And then I'm going to go with some upside down stairs here. And then we're going to go with some slabs and I have them right here. I'm going to drop slabs right here. One, two and three, just like so. Then what we're going to do is let's actually grab some trap doors of our spruce and we're going to go right here. One and two. And on this side, we're going to go one and two. I'm going to grab some fences. There's going to be some oak fences and we're going to drop the fence here. One and two and then one and two on this side, just like so. Then on the whole bottom end here, we're just going to cover all this up with spruce. And this house is already elevated by one. So it gives you a little bit more detail to go around on the side. Now, next thing we're going to grab, let's just do oak plank for now. We're going to come in here and texture it a little bit with some stripped oak log. But for right now, oak plank up oh, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, and four. I'm going to put an upside down stair on the third one right here. So give it a little space to come in right there. I'm actually going to get rid of that block and just replace it with a spruce. So it's a better transition to go in. Now we're going to leave this part open for a little window and we're going to cross beam right there. So that looks cool. But then let's come in and I'll give it a little bit of texturing. You don't have to do this part, but I think it looks a little bit better if you add this to the side. So something like that, a little bit of texture. Then let's turn this corner here. I want to do a little bit of a tiny fireplace. So let's leave this part open for now, but we could do a little bit of a cross beam there, but leave this open. Now this part, we're going to do the same thing we did back here, but add a window. So let's go up one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, put a stair here and let's give it a one two and on the third one go up top and then we're going to cross beam here we're going to have a two high window on this side then for this one we're just going to go ahead oh actually don't forget texture a little bit of texture goes a long way so something simple just like that that was pretty good you don't have to do it exactly like that but it looks awesome then right here we're going to come back and just give it a little bit uh, of detail we're just going to go down here uh, just up by three uh, on each side and cross beam we're also going to do another cross beam here and let's do another cross beam here and then just fill this up. So one, two, three, one, two, and three. We're going to put a stair here and a stair here. We're going to have a small window. And then this one, we're just going to close that off. And again, give it a little bit of texturing just on the sides here. Uh, just a little bit, even the side logs like that look pretty cool. So just like so, and it's going to look like this all the way around. Now over here, we're also going to do one more little cross beam just to finish that part off right there. 
All right, now for this open side, let's go ahead and work on this little uh, fireplace chimney action we're gonna do here. So, to make this simple, I'm just gonna lift this up right here. Let's just go up one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four here. Give it a little bit of texturing along the way. That's fine right there. Uh, we can go ahead and leave this part. Just maybe hold that block in there. Have a three block gap space here. We could put either furnaces, uh, anything, blast furnaces, anything like that. Actually, just regular furnaces because if you put anything else, it'll switch to that villager profession and we don't want that. It's specific to the farmer. So right here, let's just take uh, just stone bricks up for now. So let's go up one, two, three, four, five. Just like so. Let's put a stair and leave it right there. Then we can come in here and texture a little bit. There we go. Then let's go ahead and come back down here. Let's go up one, two. Let's go up one, two, three. And let's go up one right there. And we're going to put stairs on top of every one of these looking just like that. Then we can come back in here and give it a little bit of texturing. We can even change some of these stairs to cobble. That should look pretty good. All right, now the next thing we wanna do, I wanna go ahead and add some more detail. So let's add some logs and stairs on every corner bit where we have all of these logs. So log and stair, log going down like this, stairs on top, just like so. And let's wrap this all the way around. So like this, log, log, stair, and then log and another stair, leaving that part in the front just like so. All right, now it's time for the roof. So this one's gonna be made primarily out of spruce. We're gonna go with some spruce stairs, starting on this line, overhanging this bit over that line there, and take this all the way down, and then overhang this section. Now we're gonna go with an upside down stair here, full block on top, stair facing forward, upside down, full block, stair on top. I'm gonna put a little bit of a pop-out log, so let's go ahead and just replace those, and then put a full block on top, upside down stair, and a slab on top of that. Then we're gonna come back and repeat this on this end. So let's do it again. We're gonna go with stairs, overhanging that bit, going all the way down, just like so. Upside down stair, full block, stair, upside down stair here, full block, and a stair on top. Now, right here in the center bit, I'm just gonna put a slab, just like so. Then, let's go ahead and do this part. So, pretty much repeating what we did here, let's do it on this end. So, right here, we're pretty much not gonna see this part, so you're gonna put just full blocks on each end. Uh, plus, it's gonna look better from the inside. I'm gonna go with full blocks on top of that. Stair, stair, upside downs on each. Full blocks on both. Stair, stair. Do our pop-out log. This one can actually stay uh, on the inside part. And we're just gonna connect from this side to that side. Replace that and leave it just like this for now. We're gonna put a full block on top of here. And then we're gonna go with an upside down stair and a slab on top of that. Then let's just connect these together. And now let's work on this middle section. Now for the middle section, I'm gonna go right here. Let's actually connect these corner bits. So I'm gonna go with um, full block, stair, full block, and stair. Let's go with full block, stair, full block, and stair here. I'm gonna take this log up. One, two, and that's it. <laughs> so one and two, just like so. I'm gonna take a stair, put it sideways. Stair right here, put it sideways. We're gonna go with upside down stairs on each side. Full block on top of each, stair on top of each of those, and then we're gonna drag this all the way out, and then pop that out by one, and then take this line and go all the way out, upside down stair, and then slab on top, just like so. Then right here, we're gonna go with some more stairs. So an upside down stair here, and an upside down stair right there. Then we're just gonna connect this bit here with full block, full block, and then stairs running all the way down. And then again over here, full block, full block and run those stairs connecting to that. It should look like this from this end. Now, over here, I'm gonna put a uh, oak stair. And on the top here, we're gonna put an oak plank. And on the top of that, we're gonna put a uh, slab of spruce, just like so. So then, what we're gonna do is we're gonna repeat this thing on this side. All right, there you go. Everything is mirrored and is looking really, really awesome. Now, next up, let's add some slabs. I'm gonna go with slabs every other one up here, just like so and then trap doors in the little gaps we just missed going all the way around. So just like this from the top. Then, next up, let's go ahead and work on some more details under here. So the next thing that I wanna do is I'm gonna put slabs every other one like this, and then trap doors in the gaps. Let's do the same thing over here as well. So slabs every other one, and trap doors on the gaps. Now we're gonna work on this little section over here. Now for this, this is gonna be a smaller version of this one. So for this section here, we're just gonna go with stairs starting here and overhanging that bit. I'm gonna come back this way, go all the way down, overhang that bit. I'm gonna go with upside down stairs on each side. Uh, and this part's kinda get sealed in, so you'll see. So we're gonna go with full blocks on each, stairs forward, 
upside downs on each and the same thing we're going to go with a four block step four block step pattern all the way till we get to the top and here we're going to go with our pop out log this will take it all the way back down to this end so right on that section right there and then we're filling in the gaps so four blocks right there stairs four blocks stairs and then this it's going to pretty much cover up that log so we're going to take this all the way down upside down stair and then slap <laughs> on the tippy top right here so slab slab and then a trap door right there on that gap even this cool little uh, hole right there on the side then let's just repeat that over here so we could do it together full block stairs full blocks and stairs and that should connect perfectly to that side right there now next little bit we're going to continue this theme of putting slabs underneath and a trap door in the middle gap so slabs underneath trap door in the little middle gap now for this part right here we're just going to connect this top part now for this connection i'm going to do this right here out of trap door so we're going to go right here one and two one two three one and two seal all this up that should look like this and let's do it over here on this side as well so trap doors one two one two three one and two seal all of these up right here and it should look like this from the other side. Now, one small little thing I wanna do here, let's add a little slab right there to match the other side. Over here, we're gonna add one slab, another slab here, and a trap door in the center, just for that little bit of added detail. And it gives you a nice little separation between the log and the trap door right there. Now, next thing we wanna do is let's come back on this end. I wanna add uh, a little more detail to this fireplace. So we're gonna to have to pop this out, right? So I'm thinking about, let's actually break these right here. Let's actually lift this up one, two two and three right in this end and then this should pop out right on this section right here right there it is let's take this up so i want to go at least one more higher up here so three blocks from the tippy top then over here we can add our campfire blocks and we can go ahead and detail this up so let's put a campfire over here and then trap doors surrounding this part as well and then you can also give it a little bit of texturing if you like by adding maybe one of these as a as a cobble maybe that one right there that's perfect right there then next thing let's go ahead and just add some windows to all the gaps that we have here none on this side double window here single window on this side single window over here and we're good to go oh one more small window right there perfect now this side right here is begging for a little bit of an overhang. So right here, we're gonna do this. Let's grab two cobble walls, one on each side. And then we're gonna go with some oak fences up by two on each side. Then we're gonna grab the campfire block. And this is a lovely overhanging block right here. We're just gonna go all the way down just like so. Now we have this cool overhang, that's so nice. Now we're gonna just add a door right here and we should be good to go. All right, now the tiniest bit of detail. I just wanna add a couple of shutters here on the windows just to show that you can maybe open and close those. This one's not gonna really need any because that's fine, it all closed in. And I think we're good. This was also not gonna need any. Uh, we're also gonna add some buttons. I'm gonna go with some regular old stone buttons right here. And we're gonna put these on every single exposed log piece right here just to add a little bit more detail, just like so. There we go, that looks pretty awesome. Now next up, let's go ahead and add our little farming area out here. So this is gonna make it organic, but you guys can make it however you want to connect to this section. But if you wanna follow exactly how I'm gonna do it, let's do it right now. So I'm gonna be doing this primarily out of the, the stones, stone and cobblestone. For right now, let's do everything out of cobble and we'll texture after. So I'm gonna start right here on this end and we're just gonna bring this down. So that's from here, let's just go one, then let's go one, two, one, two, three, one, two, one and let's actually make this symmetrical so it, it will look pretty cool let's go we're one two three four five let's go one one two one two three one two and a one just like so and there you go we got a little bit of symmetry there we can leave it symmetrical but you can make it more organic only thing i'm going to do is get rid of this part right here we're going to just get rid of these three just so you can get in but it's a pretty symmetrical shape right there then next thing we want to do uh we're going to go ahead and lift some blocks so let's go ahead i'm going to put a slab here let's put a slab every other one this one could be a little bit more organic so let's go with one two one like that let's go with one more on the corner let's go with one here let's make this a little bit more so it's going to have an organic shape but on the top here we're going to make it uh well an inorganic shape is pretty much the same outline but over here we're going to make this one a little bit more organic like that uh let's put some slabs on the side like this we can even add a couple more uh, slabs right there Maybe add some walls as well. And some of these, let's just do it all in a cobble for right now. So like so. And then maybe here as well, maybe another wall. Maybe a wall right there. 
uh, maybe another little bit of a slab on this side, maybe one more here. So there you go, a little bit of a nice bit of detail on that. Now let's come back in here and give it a little bit of texturing. So just gonna come in and give it a little bit of stone brick. Also mossy would be pretty good if you wanna add some andesite, that's also good. I'm gonna keep these blocks though uh, similar. Uh, we can add also some of the other slab variant just to change it up a little bit, something like so. That looks uh, perfect right there, <laughs> nice. Now, next thing, you can add a gate here if you want, or you can leave this open, or you can put some fences as well if you wanna make it look nice, something like that would look pretty cool. Uh, but if you want, you can put a gate there. Um, also, right now, all you gotta do is knock down right in the center bit, uh, and it should be, if you're doing it exactly shaped like this, center should be right there. So it should be one, two, three, four from here, four from here, four from here, four from all the sides, and right in the middle, just put some water and add some farmland. So it should look like this in the end, and it looks so awesome. Now in the middle, we could do some things. Let's add a, uh, a slab, put it on the top, so that's waterlogged now. Uh, and then let's put a composter on top. I'm gonna put a hay bale on top of that. Then we're gonna put a, a pumpkin head, a carved pumpkin head here. We're gonna build a little bit of a scarecrow. So let's go ahead and add two fences on each side. I'm gonna put a little hat on top of him. Uh, and it looks pretty cool. You can even add some gates if you want. So if, if you thought you wanted to point <laughs> at a specific direction, that looks awesome. And if you want maybe to add, you know, just hold something, just put a, uh, I think an iron rod looks pretty cool. It kind of looks like he's holding like a, a sword or something. I don't know. There you go. Like go that way, leave this place alone. <laughs> so that is really, really awesome. And that's your profession block. So the villager can come here uh, do all their farming and then they can go back in uh, and find their bed on the inside. All right, now let's work on the interior here. So this is very basic. We're not gonna do any second floors because technically a villager can go up ladders. I've seen them do it in my single player world, but once they're up there, they're kind of stuck. So we're just gonna have this uh, for aesthetics and you can actually use it if you want, put your own things up here and <laughs> that's fine. Uh, so for right now, just to make it look cool, let's add a couple furnaces right here. Uh, I'm gonna go with a couple full blocks. Uh, let's go with some upside down stairs here. Uh, let's actually put some stairs facing down. So something simple, just like that. And come in and texture that a little bit. Uh, we can even texture some of these stairs uh, too, maybe just that one is fine. So that's perfect. Uh, also, we can add some chests up here. Don't put any barrels because then they'll turn into fishermen if they haven't uh, been assigned their block already. And very, very simple. Just gonna add a little bed right here to the back. If you want multiple beds, you can just put maybe one on each side. That's fine, but I'm just gonna make it for a single villager. Let's actually put it up right here. Uh, that looks a let's actually let's put a bell all the way to the back then over here simple just a uh, crafting bench uh, we can go with a chest on top. You can even put a little armor stand if you want to make it look cool. Almost like if this uh, guy's, this is where he puts uh, all the clothes back up. Uh, and you can put some stuff on top of that. Uh, to add a little bit more detail here, we can add a little hanging light, maybe some upside down spruce stairs. Uh, then maybe just to add a little more detail, we can put some trap doors all the way around. So it kind of looks a little bit more supported for that beam. Up on the roof here, we can mess with it a little bit. I might get rid of those stairs. Uh, we can take this down, uh, two more. Uh, here I could just go uh, really simple and just put some slabs. So let's put a couple slabs right here. Maybe one slab here and here. On this one, I'm gonna cover this part up with a stair, stair all the way around like so. Uh, then here, uh, we could do another light all the way on the tippy top right here just to add a little bit more detail. And that gives you a nice little transition up there, right? That looks nice. Uh, and then here, I really won't mess with that too much. If you want, you can make it more rustic and more beat up and ru ruin up here if you want, but that looks really nice and clean. Uh, up here, you can't put anything because we have the trap door, so that's pretty much good to go. If you wanna add a little bit more details, you can add maybe some flower pots. Uh, you can also add um, uh, some paintings as well, and that'll just bring up the place a little bit, the resale value. Uh, also, some carpets <laughs> will look all right. Uh, maybe just some brown carpets, something simple. Uh, we can add maybe a painting right there. Ooh, that's a good one. Uh, maybe some carpets right around the side here. That's good. Uh, then maybe over here we can add a couple paintings uh, and a flower pot. So a flower pot here. Let's add maybe a little bit of a flower right there. We can add some paintings. Maybe one right. Actually, let's add that big one there. And then for this one, and add a simple middle one right there. That's perfect, actually. Uh, and that's it. Uh, little things you can do, just dress it up. Uh, you can also put uh, some clothes hanging, maybe a little hat rack. So this is just for a hat, right there, beautiful. Um, hold on, let's 
turn it to the side a little bit. <laughs> there you go. So a pretty simple in, uh, interior, but it does the trick. And there you go, all done. And it's looking so awesome. I had a little bit of detail on the outside, a little bit of path here with some coarse dirt, some bushes in the back here. We got some birch bush, some uh, oak bush, a little bit of the berry bush. And we're using our boy Jersey Boy's Better Leaf resource pack. It just makes the bushes fluffy and it looks so much better. Uh, a little bit of uh, tall uh, grass, some ferns on the backside, just to add a little bit more detail to the actual build. So not only just build the structure, but if you do things like this, it'll add so much more life and it, it's just more personality to the build and it looks so awesome now this build could totally be uh, done a little bit more rustic a little bit more broken in uh, if you wanted to do stuff like that you can maybe replace some of these um, uh, stairs with uh, full blocks or with slabs and just break it up a little bit something like that if you wanted to make it look a little bit more rustic but I'm gonna make these uh, look pretty clean so there you go all done our farmers house so we got everything we need uh, for the farmer to live out their life in style but let me know what you guys want to see next I'm so excited to get all these builds out here for you guys there's 13 total uh, in order to set everything completely done. But let me know what you guys want to see coming up. We're going to be doing all of them coming up very, very soon. And also a world download at the end. So you guys can have these in your world and check it out a little bit closer. But thank you so much for watching. I'm super excited for this little mini series. And let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. <laughs> so see you guys on the next one. Goodbye.